So today we're playing a game called Medieval Dynasty. Now it seems it sounds kind of generic, right? It's called Medieval Dynasty. Isn't that just two words? First of all, yes, it's two. This is my best friend in the entire world. His name is Alwyn. He shows up at inopportune times to give me tasks. He's also my worst enemy. I've known him since third grade. He's been wearing that straw hat the whole time. And basically what I said is, I said, I'm going to build my own settlement. I don't need, like, I'm a, I'm a libertarian. You know, I don't need the support of a social fabric. I don't need uh, the resource allocation provided by the federal government. I'm going to just find a fish. You know, I'm going to find some sticks. Um, and I'm going to just make it work. Like, that's the libertarian slogan, isn't it? Gonna find a fish, gonna find some sticks, gonna make it work. That's what we're doing. And it's really hard. It sucks, don't do it. Uh, this is real, this is the actual story. He wants to take up bow hunting, he's kind of lost in life. He says, oh, I'm gonna, I'd like to hunt. So walk 1,200 meters to some woman named Gisela. She, she'll give us a bow. This is classic women, right? Gr women are always like, hey, I'll help you, but I'm 1,200 meters away. I don't know. Feels like a little bit of a honey trap situation, Alwyn. Did you think about that? Maybe she's going to steal all your possessions, like all of your um, sticks that you have in that huge bar that huge barrel in your home. And you have four sticks, and that's all that's in your home. You come dressed like, th dressed like this? Do you respect me at all? I'm starving to death also. Side note. And it's your fault. I can't believe I'm going to die because I have to get a bow from a woman named Gisela. Classic way to die. Leading cause of death in, in whatever stupid year this took place. She says, good. Now you're hitting the right note. Let's make a deal, baby. And I say, great. What happens now? Is that it? Oh. Wake up. Wake up. I want to know who you are. Oh, yeah. I forgot I'm starving to death. Because I don't... What's happening? Did we just get married? So medieval dynasty, you know, a time when it's like civilization kind of becomes like a Dunkin' Donuts. Like there's all these little installations just like 20 feet apart from each other. They have their whole I identity develops from that. They're like, you know, you idiots from Denica, you guys, you guys steal from people. Unlike uh, people here from Lesnica from 20 feet away, you know, our ancestry is basically a web between us, but you've both got a lot to offer. How about just come together, join forces. If you want to take that, I don't know, to the UN or something, go ahead and do that. Just credit me, you know, say, hey, this guy came up with it. He was like, what if everyone was more nice? If you want to kind of reflect on the events of the day, you stand in the middle of your home with a spear and you go, hoot, hoot, and you act like a caveman. And you just think about just how awful this stupid life is. But I can go to bed, wake up, talk to Alwyn tomorrow. I hate him. I hate this man, but my whole life revolves around his whims. I think now would be a great time to take a break. A lot of people come up to me in the street. They say, hey, I'm watching your stream, or I'm trying to, but you're in the dark the whole time. They say, what's up with that? And I just run. Wow, medieval dynasty, huh? Simulates my favorite thing. Dying slowly as the seasons pass. I think it would be cool if you had a lot of money and you didn't... What kind of name do you have? What kind of name? Apologize. be cool to be just, you know, just rich in general because you can just... Anyone you... Anyone who you kind of pity but you don't really like, you could just squid game them. Just do a squid game on them. Back in the day, people who were, tw men who were 20, they were like, huh, how do, where, where do I find the biggest log? I gotta carry a big item and do, f g g marry, have a kid. And now what are they doing? Now they're saying, send me a Farmville token. These kids are going crazy over Farmville. Hey, let me beat you over the head with a shovel. How would that f How would that sound, Seaboard? Let me go to your jobs mi jobs assignment page, and I'm going to put me beating you in the head with a shovel. Because guess what? 
you're not working hard enough. You're not bringing in enough uh, wood. We need so much more. Where are you going? And these guys, um, we love them. They just stand there all day. I have three knives. I'm going to put them all in there. That's going to be great. You know, it's not that hard to make a knife. It's just a uh, stone and wood. He's pretending he doesn't hear me. Just because, like, we're in a kind of thruple doesn't mean that... Well, face me, man. Like, we need to talk about our issues. But first, I gotta go kill a rabbit or something. I'm trying to really uh, flesh out the supply chain here to figure out who needs to do what, when, so that I don't have to have anything to do with any of these people. You're having to walk that far to find wood, man? There's... Come on. Look at what is that? What's that big thing over there? Uh, this is the worst trick-or-treat bag. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Alwyn because I guess the game insists that Alwyn is the center of my life. And to be frank, he kind of is the most in interesting person I've met so far. So far everyone's like, hello, would you like to look at my 54 carrots? It's so crazy, like, what logs used to do back then. I'm glad I wasn't alive to see that kind of thing happen. Need to get uh, three more logs, and then I can retire. And I'm overburdened, which means I can't really walk, but I don't know what to do, because I need all the stuff I have. So, I'm protesting gravity, basically, is what's happening. What's up? Why are you walking at this speed? You make it so obvious that you don't like me, you don't respect my time. Sure. I don't have a bow. Is that going to be a problem? You want to position yourself uh, a diplomatic distance from the geopolitical texture of the region. You know, the sectarian complexion of the thing. That's, this. So in this game, it's really easy to completely lose your mind. I built this whole thing with my own two hands. That's right, I made something without slave labor. What a... That's amazing. Hey, I... Hey, I didn't, uh, Thomas Jefferson the whole thing, man. I just, like... Let, I guess I don't really pay them. Well, that calls a lot of things into question. But, you know, they do get... They get to live here. And... I guess that's a reward? I don't know. If you have a response to anything I've ever said, um, call me at 1-800-2. That's 1-800, and then just the number 2. Well, I guess it's uh, the end of winter. Um, thanks, guys, for like helping me out. You stood around look like that. And spring already sucks. Well, how much are taxes going to be this year? Because I'm in a pretty low income bracket. I'm killing deer with wooden spears. So what kind of revenue do you think I'm pulling in, man? Like, do you want me to produce the pay stubs? What do you want? And I don't even know who this guy is. I don't think he's legit. I don't think he's a real tax guy. He's just the first guy I met in the game. The IRS is just this guy standing and looking at a wall. Well, we have to uh, make a lot of money to live. Just, I guess, to live, apparently. The fun part is really just, like, making fertilizer. You know, for the f first f several thousand years of human civilization, this is all anyone smelled. So I'm not going to complain. So the thing about farming is, you know, someone was like, maybe there's food in the dirt. And everyone was like, what are you talking about? And someone just kept saying it, they're like, there's food in the dirt. I bet you could make a food come out of the dirt. I'll admit, you know, I would have been one of the naysayers. But they really pulled it off, you know, with farming. Well, I think that's been our stream. Thanks for turning this well shaft the entire time. So, um, thanks for chilling on youtube.com forward slash give my computer a virus, make my computer explode into a million smithereens. Um, dot com. Thanks for checking it out. I hope nothing bad happens to your computer. But I had a lot of fun doing the stream, and I enjoy that game a lot. You can get it on the Microsoft Store if you buy the Game Pass thing.
Microsoft did not pay me to endorse the Xbox Game Pass. Even though it's only $4.99 a month. And you can get your favorite games like Sekiro, Die 7,000 Times, Doogie Hauser, MD. You know what you can buy on the Xbox Game Store for only 6 bucks a month? You can buy a game called Dingus Goes to the North Pole. It's a first-person shooter. So all of that and more is awaiting you on the Xbox Game Pass thing. New guy, I just found out his name is PewDiePie. And um, you should go sub subscribe to his channel. I think he said something problematic about the Persians or something. A few years ago. So he has been canceled. But anytime anyone gets canceled, it's like you get... It's just like energy just kind of like not being destroyed or created. It just shows up in another form. So when you get canceled, you get kind of activated in some other political uh, context. And so you're going to sacrifice your whole whatever kind of bonded you to the social fabric. You're going to sever that so that you can be accepted by people who indulge like the worst, like the basis kind of instincts and kind of reactive like thinking so fix that vote for someone who fixes it i can't do it i'm trying to i'm playing this game where i have to pick berries and eat meat it's called medieval dynasty check it out on the xbox game pass only five four ninety nine it's only seven ninety nine it's sixteen sixteen dollars a day but you get to play a microsoft flight simulator which a terrorist is definitely not going to use to simulate crashing into something. They're like, here, let's make a map of the entire world, with, like with meticulous detail. Let's incorporate also learning how to fly a jet. Like, uh, you probably wouldn't be able to see over like Andrews Air Force Base or Camp David. Nobody should ever be able to see in Camp David. Because it's just Biden walking around without a shirt. He's like drunk on like half of a, a Miller Lite or something. Trying to give everybody back rubs. It's not really like the um, evil calculating secret cabal that controls everything. But generally you want to err on the side that people are bumblingly incompetently true neutral sometimes. At best. And they're trying to meet an expectation that's up here and they're just like I ran a hedge fund we w it, it went bust but we got bailed out somehow can I be a senator now? jeez it paid my dues it would be cool if you went to like a drive-in movie theater and they just play like the popcorn like the stupid music where it's like turn off your cell phone enjoy the popcorn enjoy the show i hope you enjoy peewee's haunted mansion thanks for coming but it's not peewee's haunting haunted mansion it comes up and it's just this stream this exact stream and people are like what is this so they all try to leave but then armed guards show up you have to watch the stream. They're like, why? So thanks for watching. Um, check me out. I'm going to be in a new movie. It's called Shrek 5 Penance. And there's actually a torture scene. So they torture Shrek. They make him eat 500 onions. And then at the end, they're like, there's, n they actually put in big letters, said there's not going to be a Shrek 6. Don't expect it ever. He's dead forever. He ate too many onions.